Well, let's try and fit in a game of Blitz. So we'll pick three minutes for this one. The 2141. Good luck. I'll just leave the audio up so I can hear the moves. My hearing's not too good. Pin knight up. Let's go G6. Here, C3. Let's take. What do I want to do here? I think I'm just going to develop and look to castle. Knight up. I think we'll take there. Why do you think there? He's only got one move, hasn't he? Oh, it's a new account. Okay, this could be a bit suspicious. I'll reserve judgment till after the game, but a new account with a high rating. I'm just going to try and deal with that bishop. So, bishop up, takes, takes, knight down. I think I've still got e6, so I think bishop up is still a playable move. Just got to watch out for attacks here. Um, let's just go up one there, down, and we'll counter it. Hmm. I'll review this one a bit more carefully off camera after the event, no matter what happens here. Yeah, I feel he was going to play that. Is there any point playing this game? I'm not sure there is. I'm not sure there's any point playing this one. It's unfortunate. Yeah, then he castles queenside as well. I mean, that's just summing it up nicely, isn't it? That's summing it up very nicely. Hmm. I think the answer is no, there's no point playing this one. I'll make a couple more moves and then I'll probably just resign and get on with the next game and find somebody honest to play. Let's just chuck the knight forward there, why not? Hmm. There's not a lot I can do, is there? Do I just take the We do it the rook if he doesn't take. If we do, obviously, it's an automatic pre move to take back. The knight hangs as well. That's a check. Now, do we take here? Queen off would be nice, but a pawn's a pawn, but it opens a file up, right? Take, take, take. Bishop over. Not ideal. But it is a chance to grab a pawn. Take, take, take. Bishop up. Trade, 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 trade. Hmm. I'm going to play rook over first. Okay, queen down. Set the queen and knight. Okay, queen down again. Let's hit the queen again. I'm looking at this and this. And this at the right moment, if we get a chance. So let's check, and there's the rook. We might have rook up here if he comes forward, which he's done, so check. Hmm. It's just suddenly collapsed, hasn't it? Well, we somehow got a win there. We somehow got a win there. Maybe he was legit then. Let's just see what it was in engine language. Okay, so I've imported the game into Lee Chess now, so we were black for this game. So we just click this menu button and we can flip the board and show it from our viewpoint. So the actual figures we played were 86% versus 76%. CPL is 45 and 82. And we were kind of 
slightly up and down, a little bit worse out of the opening, but nothing too bad. Amar just became a little bit suspicious here when my opponent took a long time just to make what was basically an automatic capture back. Then, of course, it's a new account, so I'll check a bit more carefully off camera another time. In this position, I've made a mistake here. I shouldn't have played h6. I should have just ignored that and played the immediate d6 and allowed the pawn push on. So that's fair enough. It's something to learn from. I don't play the Sicilian too often, just for occasional variety. And then we're nearly at the position where the game turns now. So we just turn the engine on there. Yeah, it was correct not to take the bishop because obviously knight coming and you're creating a deadly checkmate threat. So taking the pawn was okay. But in this position though, you look at this and you think, who in their right mind castles queenside in a position like this for a decent player? You just castle kingside, you took your king away, why would you castle queenside there? It looks really, really odd. Like, really odd. And that's just, obviously, you can see a blunder there. We've blundered back here. It's our only blunder that the engine has marked of the game. Apparently we should have just taken the pawn here. It looks a little bit counterintuitive to me. There's lots of ways you can take back. Well, I guess the knight is the practical way to take back. Maybe there's a move like... Actually, no, there isn't pawn forward because of this. But just rook across, putting pressure on the pawn, I guess, then. So, rook over. Then we're just going straight after the king here. And then here we take and rook across again, blunder, and then we've got a nice checkmate coming at the end there. You can block and we're just going to be able to take either way and then the king's got nowhere to run to. So slightly odd game there, it is what it is.